and Coach Billups making his way over the broadcast area. And Coach, congratulations. Uh, arguably your most impressive victory of the season, especially considering the competition. 79 to 55, you guys defeat North Dakota State. You give them their first loss uh, within league play today. Uh, what was the key to just such a great performance? Just being aggressive and, and, and playing how we want to play. We couldn't let them dictate because they're such a good team. We couldn't let them dictate how we played on offense or defense and just taking on the challenge. You know, our guys were ready. Uh, they were fired up to play against the, the, the number one team in the league, essentially being 4-0. And, uh, you know, we, we were just, Coach Patton prepared our guys, and, and we were ready. I know Daniel will grab the headlines, and we'll certainly talk about him, but the story to me was the defense today. You guys really played well, holding them to just 31% shooting. Uh, at times, they seem to get frustrated in the offensive end and just kind of put up bad shots, which is not something they normally do. I felt like that, that was a testament to your defense. What were you guys doing on that end of the floor? Just playing with extra energy. That's it. And, and it wasn't it wasn't a, a different game plan. We just we just executed the game plan. And, and guys were, like I said, they were just ready today for whatever reason. And we talked about it in the locker room. Whatever, whatever they did to get ready for this game or whatever we did as a coaching staff, we're going to continue to do that. Well, we saw, and I mentioned Amigo, we saw him have the big game at Air Force. He, he looked equally impressive today, 28 points, 12 rebounds. They just didn't seem to have anybody who could defend him. And, boy, he was on today. And as second straight game, uh, you kept him out of foul trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying different things to, to help him. And, and our coaching staff, we talk about Daniel a lot, and he's such a big big part of our team. We've got we've to find, you know, a time in the first half, one, when he gets his first half, his first foul to take him out, or when he starts to get tired, you know, you, you see him take a tired shot from the baseline, and it, it, it wasn't even close to making it. Just we, we have to do a better job of keeping our eyes on him and, and keeping him in, in, in engaged in the game. Well, Coach, congratulations on the big win, and I can't let you out of here without a happy birthday. Oh, friend. thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, and I'm sure great birthday uh, oh, gift uh, for you to get a big win today. If I could do this every year, I would. <laughs> All right, thanks, Congratulations Rod. and happy birthday, Coach. There's Rod.